Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, 3D tutorial on how to create a revolved object using the revolve command. Before you start you should create an enclosed um, 2D object such as this object here which is a polyline and that should be positioned ideally around the center of axes um, about which you're going to revolve. I've got one here and one here, these green lines. Now the revolve command is actually underneath this extrude command and if I click on this you see revolve appears here. Uh, first time it will around it will ask you to select which objects to re revolve so I'll select this blue object, confirm my selection and then it asked up me to specify an axis start point so what I can do is I can click one point perhaps along this line and another point along this line. It will then prompt me, um, if you look at the command line, to specify the angle of the re revolution. In other words, how far do I want to go around this circle? And the default is 360 degrees, so I press enter 360 degrees. Something happened on my computer there, sorry about that, so I'll just try this again. Select objects to evolve, confirm my selection press one point here along the axis of rotation another point along the same axis and then press enter to confirm that I want to rotate it by 360 degrees or type in another figure okay what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to rotate this and you can sort of see how that's been ro rotated let me just do a few undos to get back okay if I start the command again and I'll select the same object, press enter to confirm. This time I'm going to right hand click and select on an object about which I'm going to rotate. So I'll select object, select this line instead of specifying two points along it and again instead of selecting 360 degrees I'm going to put in say 270 degrees like so and then when I orbit it this time you can see how that's rotated. Again, I'm just going to press undo a few times to get this back. I'll repeat this command once more. Start the command, select the objects to revolve, confirm it. This time I'm going to right hand click and say I want to revolve this around the x-axis. Now when I do this around the x-axis it's not going to revolve around this green line, it's going to revolve where, where the x-axis is located. So in this instance I'm going to get a slightly enlarged mid, mid, in a circle. Um, I'm going to set 360 degrees up for the angle of revolution and again when I rotate you'll see what happens. Yeah, I think you can see in that view how the, um, the circle is offset now from that initial line here. Let me just do an undo on that to get back. Had I um, done this in the y-axis, um, perhaps around this object here, um, I'll show you how that works. So if I do revolve, select the object, confirm the selection, and I will select by object. So click on this line, I'll specify 360 degrees to rotate, and if I just tilt this now you'll see a big dish in the top of this object. You can sort of see that big object there, or a big hole, because it's rotated in the other axis. If I just do a few undoes again to get that back, you'll sort of see how it's formed that big dish here, rotated around that view there. Again, I'll just do this in, actually in the Y axis, so it will rotate around this point here, and you will get a totally different results. Right hand click and select my Y option, and Perhaps this time I'll do it by 270 degrees and uh, when I rotate now you'll see I've got a spigot here rather than that dish because of the way it's been rotated around the y-axis. Uh, thank you for watching this and this concludes the um, tutorial for this particular revolve command.